what's up beautiful people on the other side today's video we are going to share a lot of new projects that are coming up in the market and i think you should definitely check them out and try to get whitelisted for them the market is still falling down but the right move at this point of time would be to get whitelisted for a lot of projects by any means you can try and then try to flip them if you are early if you are a holder that's an amazing thing but if you're a beginner or someone who's been here for three to four months and is trying to make money i still feel whitelist flipping is the best way to go so before we before we jump onto these projects all i would ask is if you're interested in content like nfts make sure you do subscribe the channel hit the notification bell and like the video let's get started the first project that we're going to talk about is called Owench NFT. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but I really like this particular project, and the reason for it is, I feel that this is kind of a storyline NFT, and anything with a story, I kind of uh, feel connected to it. And you can see this is the kind of art they've shown. It's like memories, I would say, that is being converted into an NFT. That's what I feel. I'm not sure if it is that way, but the founder of this particular project already had a NFT in the past, which is sitting at 1.22 Ethereum, a very good floor price. And is uh, and has a volume created of 96.4 Ethereum, which again is not that bad. So I personally feel when a founder who has an experience in launching NFTs, who has done some good work in the past, and their work is being appreciated by having such an amazing flow, the second collection bounced to work well. And this is the main reason I feel this will also work out well. Uh, this is very new; not a lot of information is out, but I'm still sharing it. So I, I would highly suggest you to follow it and stay tuned. How or what is going to be in this particular story? Moving on to the next project, so the name is going to be the Oracles. I feel this is how we should pronounce it. Uh, this is a total collection of five, 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 five NFTs. Not a very high collection, but the reason I'm looking into this project is because it is from the designer of RTFKT, which is again a really good project and has done really, really. amazingly well i really like the art of this particular project also you can see this looks really stylish and uh, since the designer already has a good amount of experience in web3 this can really do well so i would say definitely give them a follow and see how it turns out i am not doing an in depth part on this one because i have a lot of projects to share and if we do an in depth one i think it will be a huge huge video which i don't want to Uh, moving forward, the next project is going to be Slothopia. The reason it is here is because first the supply is really really less; it's just three thousand three hundred thirty-three. Next, it is for staking marketplace tools, private node, alpha and more. I'm seeing after just cube, a lot of projects are getting their own private nodes, and uh, it is kind of increasing the floor price also. Plus, this is a tool. I think uh, tools are really really uh, great when it comes to NFTs. If you are a beginner, getting a tool early on can help you learn a lot in the market it is not mandatory to have it but having a tool can really help you out learn and understand things quickly so definitely keep this under your radar uh, join their particular discord also and see how it turns out moving forward the next project is going to be late essence the supply for this particular project is going to be 3444 this is again a very new project you can see less than a month right now and again they've got a good amount of attention on them uh, already has 14700 uh, followers on their twitter this i feel is going to be a banner art uh, nft project and i think banner banner art nft projects are really underrated at the moment so this can be something which do uh, well because i love this sneak peeks you can see the art this this looks really really amazing this takes you back towards your childhood it does to me I'm not sure to you also but uh, this makes you feel uh, the times when you're lonely so this is something uh, i feel if an art can talk to people feeling it it will really do well and that's what it does for me i'm not sure if it does for you also but this would be a project i would definitely keep under my radar the next one is going to be bed bugs <laughs> although everybody hates them but i think since it's been converted into nft people would really love them uh, the art looks good uh, this is the childish kind of art which i think really appreciated in nfts the reason i have added this one particularly here is first their artist uh, on instagram their followers are around 175k something plus this is backed up by pyc doxed holder the artist had have some real uh, 
collaboration in web2 world with its sprite rocky and there are a lot more things which artist has done a good amount of collaboration with hence i feel the amount of experience and the kind of fame the artist is bringing in in this particular with this particular project can really help out plus this is also followed by a lot of people in the nfts i think of a lot of notable people a lot of reputed people in the nft so i think this this would be something i feel you should definitely definitely uh, look into and should follow for a long while and see how it goes out the next one is going to be the zero nft this is 2222 only the collection size is very low and i love that the art for this particular project i really like that you can see this looks pretty amazing to me kind of small bros and karafuru mixed up not very sure but but i really like the art for this particular project few of them does look like small bros but they have their own uniqueness the other reason i'm looking into this is because a lot of nano pass holders are in their discord which i feel is kind of a, a positive sign because uh, if nanoverse community is interested in a project must be an alpha for them i think it it might do well so definitely have a look at this the supply is really low only 2222 and uh, they have also launched their article which is telling us about their intro their vision and how they're going to finance it i'll be looking more into this project and most probably be creating an in-depth video in future about this one because i love projects which have good amount of details about them so most probably yes but let's move to the next one now the next one is going to be the rokio nft the art for this particular project looks different uh, this gives me project px in kind of vibe not the art but the way they have started this trend uh, kind of very much similar to them i'm not sure how this will do but i think definitely a project that is worth to give a follow the project has boomed up from 700k followers to 16.5k followers very very quickly and i think it is getting a lot of eyes on it so definitely a worth a, a good project to definitely have a look at and keep under your radar the next one is going to be the asura project when it when you say asura in in india or in hindi language it will be a demon which kind of excites me i love anything which which is associated with demons i don't know why but the art for this project for project is about anime trend um, which is kind of dying at the moment but you never know when a trend comes back the uh, the art looks good the art looks detailed i am kind of a fan of the art so i would say definitely have a look at it definitely give them a follow uh, try to get into their giveaways or their whitelist spots but considering the current beer market a lot of projects are not looking really really well this but i think that that's what the job of an investor is to try to find out the best projects that are going in the market try to get whitelisted for them and have a quick flip or hold them for a longer term to make a lot of money from it if you have the investors i i think you can make a lot of money even in the beer market moving forward the next project and the last project is going to be moon lenders nft I think this would be the one project I would say keep an eye a lot. I feel this is kind of a Karafuri derivative. This art is so much similar to Karafuri and we've seen the kind of performance Karafuri has given in the past. The Karafuri project is really really amazing and this is very much similar to that. This would be definitely one project that I would be definitely creating an in-depth video about. I'll I'm still uh, researching on this one and I'll be looking more into it but the art looks fabulous to me. It looks really really good and really detailed. So definitely give them a follow try to see uh, what they doing get in their discord the discord is open i love the projects that have open discord because uh closed discords are suitable to projects who are really really hyped up and people know what's exactly happening in there even if they don't if they have good founders i think they can still have a run with it but if you are not someone who people know about or if your project is really new and you're just trying to follow trends from other hyped up project that closing your discord would be a good thing i don't feel it should be people should be knowing more about your projects the more people know about your project the more they can relate to your project and the more good kind of investors you can find people who are just into this to flip quickly would not care if you are if they are in your discord or not they just want to get whitelisted and quickly flip the project so projects with open discord i i really love them so this one has a open discord definitely i'll be checking it out definitely seeing what kind of information is there what their roadmap is what are they planning to do in future and if there would be something good i'll definitely create an in-depth video on this one so these will be all the projects that i'm looking into and i think can really perform well again the market is really bearish so the best move at the point is to either get whitelisted and have a quick flip or or try to do trading on the basis of rarities these are the two things i can i think can make you a lot of money but for that also you need for whitelist i think it's it's 
kind of easy uh, not to get whitelisted but if you have less money you can still do it for the rare part rare traits part i think you would need a good amount of money with you to do it so definitely check these projects out and I, if you think there is any other project that is good mention them in the comment box below i'll definitely have a look at it i hope you did enjoy the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next one thank you